Hello guys and gals and welcome. So today we're going to be looking at another unique item. And the unique item is the Grim Reaper's War Scythe. Now the Grim Reaper War Scythe is a relatively low level item with an only a level requirement of level 29. And um, it does have some interesting effects on it. Uh, most notably uh, that what strikes out me right away is the 100% deadly strike. Which means that it is going to hit for double damage no matter what. Um, now as we take a look at this item, um, I feel like we're going to expose one of the silliest mechanics of Diablo 2, which is an item that is good for a little while, but immediately falls off at higher levels. So uh, so without further ado, let's dive right into it. We've got a two-handed damage of 33 to 43, so a very, a very tight range there. Um, if we were to put this on our character, um, you'll see it has a absolutely beautiful purple sheen to it there. And, uh, and our damage is 263 to 334, which is very, very close together. Um, the dexterity and strength requirements seem rather high for level 29 at 80, 80. And um, it is a normal attack speed item, which is not particularly fast. Uh, we have 20% enhanced damage, which is static. 15 to minimum damage, which explains why the minimum and the maximum are so close together. 5% uh, mana stolen per hit, which is always nice to have at a low level. Um, and 100% Deadly Strike, which is the chance to deal double damage. Um, this weapon seems like it would be very nice to have on a character that does not have any critical or Deadly Strike options. And um, I almost get the feeling that this would work really well on a Mercenary as well, for that same reason. We also have Prevent Monster Heal, which unfortunately does not work on Mercenaries, but will stop the monster's regeneration for 20 minutes. Uh, let's take a look at the ethereal version as well. So we've got 41 to 64 on the ethereal version, and uh, 70 to 70 on the strength and dex requirements. It's really interesting. Um, I feel like this could be a rather solid option for a mercenary early on, uh, just simply because if you found an ethereal one with a deadly 100% deadly strike, I mean that's just going to be an amazing amount of damage. Uh, every single attack he does is going to be doubled, and uh, if you happen to have amplified damage, uh, like if, for instance, you are a necromancer it's definitely going to make that damage multiply again, so you're going to end up with times four. And um, that, that, to good use. that is a very attractive prospect. The uh, Mana Steel, unfortunately, does not work on Mercenaries, and neither does the Prima Monster Heal. So, uh, so aside from the really nice Deadly Strike, there's really not a lot more going on for it for a Mercenary. Um, you could, of course, use this on a player as well, and uh, and that beautiful, beautiful purple sheen is definitely very nice. And I don't know if you guys have ever noticed this before. I've pointed this out in a couple other videos. But um, there's a shadow to the weapon, and there's no shadow to the ethereal version. So a uh, very interesting little mechanic change there. And I can't remember if that was in the original game or not. It was not. So in the original game, you notice my, uh, my scythe shadow is still there, and when I put on the ethereal version, the scythe shadow stays. But in the new uh, Diablo 2 Resurrected, a little nice little touch they made was they took away the shadow for the ethereal items. So interesting. So one thing that we're going to do is we're going to explore upgrading these items, whether it is worth it to upgrade these items or not. And uh, we're going to upgrade both the ethereal and the non-ethereal versions, and we're going to find out um, what they can do. So the first upgrade is the War Scythe to the Grim Scythe, I believe. And for that, we are going to need a Ral, a Soul, and a Perfect Emerald. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to upgrade this one tier. So we have 33 to 43 damage, 80, 80, and level 29. And now we have 51 to 84, 140, 140, and a level, and level 34 requirement. A rather large increase in the requirements there. Unfortunately, I don't think a lot of characters are going to have 140 dex and 140 strength to be able to use that. Let's take a look at the ethereal item, and uh, we'll get a look at this one as well. So we've got 41 to 64, 70, 70, and uh, that goes to 69 to 126, 130, 130, with a level requirement of 34. So I'm not really sure that was actually worth it. Um... The level requirement didn't come up very use. much, but the strength of the decks certainly did quite a lot. And while the damage didn't seemingly go up that much, we still have the 100% Deadly Strike, which does have to be taken into account. 
But unfortunately, it just doesn't really seem like it has the most amazing damage. I almost feel like this particular one is probably not worth the upgrade from Tier 1 to Tier 2, let alone the upgrade from Tier 2 to Tier 3, but you know what? We're going to do it anyway. So uh, we're going to upgrade this to the next tier, uh, which is going to be the... <laughs> Giant Thresher. Yes, the Giant Thresher. So uh, we're going to upgrade the non-ethereal version first, which is going to be 51 to 84. 140, 140, level 34. Now this is going to be a rather large jump, because generally uh, jumping from the Grim Scythe to the Giant Thresher usually is. I would imagine somewhere around level 70 requirement and some pretty high requirements on the strength of dex, but uh, we're going to find out. So now we are at the Giant Thresher with 63 to 136, a uh, dexterity requirement of 140, and a strength requirement of 188. And the level has gone up to level 78, a pretty massive jump. And I feel like we really didn't get a lot of damage out of this particular item. Um, because the ED on this weapon is so very low, and it is relying on that minimum damage effect, we are getting next to no increase whatsoever on the, uh, on the upgrade. I feel like this particular up weapon is probably not worth upgrading one tier, let alone two. But let's take a look at the ethereal version as well. So 69 to 126 uh, with 130, 130, and 34. To 87 to 205, 130, 178, and 78 requirement. So uh, all in all, I feel like this particular item was probably not one that was ever meant to be upgraded. Um, it seems to be almost specifically balanced around normal difficulty, uh, or rather early nightmare difficulty. And um, the deadly strike combined with the minimum damage, the mana steal, it definitely could come in handy for a certain level period. But, um, but when it's upgraded, it really kind of lacks the damage that is required to make this useful. Um, it doesn't have any increased attack speed, it doesn't have enough ED, and um, unfortunately it's just lacking in the upper tiers. Now, where can you find this particular item? You can find this particular item in just about anywhere in normal difficulty uh, past, I believe, Act 4, and uh, all the way up to Hell difficulty. It's going to drop from just about every single monster. Um, obviously, it has to be a regular scythe, but, uh, but you will see it often enough that um, it's really not a matter of targeting it specifically as much as, you know, like when you find it, it's probably not going to be useful to you anymore because you're going to be a high level character. Um, you could hold on to this item specifically to use on a lower level character because that's really the only purpose that it has. And if you found this as a lower level character, you might throw it on your mercenary for a little while until he outlevels it. Um, and then you replace it with something a little bit better. Um, as always, I do appreciate you guys and cows watching my videos and uh, keep watching.